two quick more pieces to add uh, in this positive definite matrix section, although this is a little more general. We're going back to um, LU, actually, and just looking at that. So this is a surprising thing. All right. Okay. And it's only for, so this is for um, squ square symmetric matrices, right? So this is, let me add that. So this is for square symmetric matrices. So, bit of a caveat there. Anyway, all right. So, all right. So we've been thinking about these quadratic expressions and what we're saying here is we could, we could uh, if we, we want to figure out what these stationary points are like if they're maximum or minimum saddles. So if we could take the expression here and then clearly create squares in it, right? You know, x1 plus x2 all squared with maybe a minus three in front of it, other pieces, right? We could see if there were you know, the, the prefactors would make it clear. So let's work through an example of, of completing the square here. All right, so we've got this expression. This is also uh, from before. This is equal to x1, x2, and then we had two, and we divide these two pieces to x1, x2, where this was our a1 from before. Right, so we're just trying to keep that, that same Yeah, the same set. There was A1, A2, A3. All right, good, good. So we're going to complete the square here. So this should look like, right, if we had, um, you know, 2x squared plus 3x plus 4, that's the kind of thing, right? So we're, where we're trying to, um, you know, make a squared structure at the front. So let's let's just do that for this case. And what we do is we just pretend, you know, leave as a constant. All right, so we leave the x2 as a constant, and we just think about building the, the square for x1, right? So it's 2. The only parts of with x1 squared are the, well, the first two, minus, there's a 2x2 times x1, plus what's left over. Good. So we can complete the square here. So we're going to write this as 2. It's going to be uh, x1 minus sorry, that's, that 2 has come out there, right? So we've lost out. We've taken the 2 out. The 2 is out the front. Oh, it's not working. Two is at the front, so we're just going to have an x2 sitting in, and I've put it there as if it's just a constant. Right. Yeah, you may have trouble remembering this. I know that's true. Okay, so x2 over 2, that's this piece. Uh, this all squared, and then we'd have to subtract off this mess, right? So this gives us x1 squared when we square this thing up. These, the cross product gives us um, these piece, this piece here. But then we've also got a plus um, x2 squared over 4. So we have to subtract that off. So minus x2 squared over 4. And then outside of that, we had a plus 2x2 squared. Okay, so this piece here. Well, let me use green. So that's this piece, right? And there's a 2 in front of it. If we multiply this 2 through, we get minus x2 squared over 2, and we're adding it here. And so this piece plus with a 2 gives us the 3 halves x2 squared. Okay, good. That's how we do it. Um, and if you're having trouble with that, go back to just thinking about completing a square. It's true we have some variables and things floating around, but it's the same, it's totally the same idea. And if we had an x3, x4, we just keep going, right? Hmm. 
interesting things are happening. So this is pivot one is sitting here. The first, the multiplier L21 is sitting here. And pivot two is sitting here from this matrix to, uh, right? This is from A2, uh, sorry, A1 equals two minus one minus one, two. Crazy. Uh, this is another example. This is the A2 example. A2 equals 2 minus 1 minus 1 and then a minus 2. Same thing. Right, if you go through and do the calculation, if you're having trouble with this one, it'd be a, it's a good game to figure out how you get from here to here. All right, and again, L21 is here, this piece. Um, the first pivot is here, and the second pivot is here. So something's going on, right? We're completing a square, and we're producing the pivots and the, um, the multipliers. Right? And it's, it's as if we're making new variables, actually, right? So there's an x1 minus a half x2. And in fact, that's really what's going on. If you figure this out in general, so in general for two by twos, if we start with this construction, right? Yeah. So our prefactors are A, 2B, and C, right? So the, the 2B will be split. You could put B, but then you have to have B over 2 and B over 2 in your matrix. Right, it should be A and then B over 2, B over 2 for you. All right, good. Did the wrong thing. So, I mean, so the general result would be providing A is not 0 and so on, right? We would get D2 sitting here which always has this form for this construction. This is uh, B over A is L21, and there's D1. So think of this as a new variable. That's the idea. So think of, or C actually, C X1 plus B over A X2 as a new variable. And so here's the, the story, does it always work like this? So here's any quadratic with A equals A transpose, symmetric, right? Um, again, this is for symmetric matrices. Right? So we've got A, we know that A can be written as L, D, L transpose. So we're just stick that in. We then know, right, so that's this piece. We then know that we can combine the um, X transpose L at the start. We can change the order, put transposes on them, All right? So X transpose transpose is here, which is just X. L transpose is here, and we're taking a transpose here. Good. And then we can combine these two to make this blob. So now we have blob transpose D blob which is a very nice thing and the d are the pivots okay so we're going to just call these this combination of x's and a new thing right so we're going to y transpose y so new variables and now because it's so simple right it's, it's such a simple object right it just looks like this blob blob Dot, 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 dot. This is D, Y, transpose Y. If you multiply that through together, you get just the, the pivots just match. They just connect the um, corresponding Y's. So very simple. DY1 squared, D2, D1, Y1 squared, etc., etc. Um, and so it's clear from this that if the pivots are greater than zero, should be clear, hopefully, um, then... Uh, a is a PDM, right? So it's very clear there. Uh, so you can see why the multipliers end up messing with the X's, right? So here's the, the L matrix here, and that's what's happening here. Okay, to give us our Y's, very nice. And so this is called Cholesky uh, factorization. So if A is a PDM, then we have this nice thing um, that we can write L as L, L transpose, right? So we take 
the square root of d and combine it with hl. That's what this is here, where we split it. And it looks like a lower triangular times upper triangular. Yeah. And so this is uh, usually about twice, I mean, roughly twice as fast in terms of solving an LU problem. If you've got a square matrix, a square symmetric matrix, that's a PDM, you can do this. Of course, you can generalize it to, to non-real things as well, uh, but it's, so it's faster, even better. All right, so that's enough. That's enough. Very nice thing. Beautiful little thing.